Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki with today's um, nostalgic Christmas video um, for Thursday, December the 18th of 2014, and I'm in a really, really good mood right now, folks. Um, a couple of hours ago, I got to talk on the phone with a really, really, really close friend of mine whom I haven't talked to in a long, long time, so... That's got me in a very, very, very good and positive mood. So, I figured while I'm in this mood, let's make a video. We are here at the Packard Bell Legend 1510 Supreme, um, running off of its CF card for Windows for Work Groups 3.11. Let's bring up the Program Manager. If it looks a little bit different, that's because I have um, plug-in for Windows installed. It, add some more features to the Windows 3.1 program manager. So it's a really cool um, program, but that's not the point of this video. Last year, last December, YouTube user Lazy Game Reviews um, did a um, video about a program called Christmas for Windows 1993. A very, very um, interesting little program that includes um, a lot of enhancement features for Windows to make it more, well, Christmassy. And um, it just so happens I have my own copy. And it's incredibly legit, I swear. <laughs> but um, we don't have to install it because it's already installed on this machine. The icon um, looks a little bit different from your normal um, Windows 3.1 program manager icon because of plug-in, as I mentioned a while ago. But let's open it up and with Christmas for Windows 93, you get a whole lot of icons. <laughs> now this program um, has a lot of features, a lot of which I might not even um, know what they do. Um, so we'll start in... Um, in um, chronological order here with the icon set up. Basically this lets you um, make your program icons more Christmassy. Like, uh, hmm, let's find a random little program here. Notepad. Let's make Notepad, Notepad turn into, uh, let's see, a Christmas tree. Did it do it or not? I've never done this before. Uh, well that didn't go so well. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a very, very good video where nothing can possibly go wrong. So, yeah, there's somehow or another you can change these icons. You can change the icons of um, applications to make them more Christmassy looking. And um, if you're really, really wanting to get fancy, now this is the part I use the most of this program. Continuous Carols, um, which allows you to play uh, MIDI files of your favorite Christmas carols over and over again while you're working. So, um, let's just uh, play them. Or, apparently when you hit exit, it also um, stops the music. I guess you have to have it minimized. You can have that. You can have that playing while um, you're doing your work in, um, let's say, Microsoft Word 
<laughs> nah, that doesn't need to be saved, I don't believe. <laughs> You can see it goes to the next um, MIDI file, which is Deck the Halls. And you can just click these if you want to go to a certain one, like uh, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. Or we Wish You a Merry Christmas. Silent Night, or, or no, um, Jolly Old St. Nicholas. Or the Herald Angels Sing. These are pretty good middies, actually. Town of Bethlehem. O come, all ye faithful. Doesn't do all that well on um, this particular sound card driver. And by the way, this is specifically designed for um, Windows 3.1, but however, this does run just fine on Windows 95. And we got Silent Night. That sounds good. And Auld Lang Syne. Happy New Year! <laughs> and that's right, this coming year is going to be 2015. It's going to be very, very awkward for me all year being a devout Back to the Future fan <laughs> for um, reasons you could probably imagine <laughs> and you get screen savers um, elf saver this probably works better on a 486 cause this is a little bit fast <laughs> happy new year yeah that's a little fast too <laughs> and you get a winter scene the, that is, if the mouse doesn't move. Uh, it's not working. I have no clue why that doesn't work. And you get wallpaper. Nothing really fancy. Uh, let's just set that as the wallpaper. There you go, a bunch of bears. And system color setup. It'll modify your system colors. Currently, your system is configured for non Christmas colors. Uh, normally, I would show this, but I'm afraid if I do this right. You know what? You know what? Actually, let's go ahead and do it. But first, since this is a custom appearance, I'm going to see if you, you can save this in Windows 3.1. Uh, color. Oh, I hit a preset one, so. And there we go. Windows 3.1 has a lot more Yuletide cheer. <laughs> very, very bright Yuletide cheer, that is. And the continuous carols. Oh, we were doing it wrong the whole time. Yeah, that was the what we were looking at earlier was the setup menu for continuous carols. Now these icons here, all they really do is you double click them and it just plays music. Nothing really exciting, folks. <laughs> In fact, that's what the majority of these icons are for. Uh and I believe this product was uh, made by uh, Simon Says, a company called Simon Says that was manufacturing this stuff in the early 90s. And um, you also get, believe it or not, 
games like holiday delivery. Santa has a sleigh full of presents to deliver and needs your help to get them to the right houses. As the presents fall from Santa's sleigh, click on them. A number will appear. Drag that present to the chimney of that house. Some presents contain a lump of coal. Let these fall or drag them out of the way. Watch out if you click the same coal twice, the game is over. In other words, they don't give you much leeway. <laughs> Huh, get a little um, PC speaker. And not too exciting, but... Okay, now it's getting faster. <laughs> very, very fast, actually. It doesn't... You don't get much time. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's not going too well. And you get this thing called Christmas Kai Jr. Hey, you're moving this green ball around. I have no clue what to do. He had, yeah, while Santa was making his rounds this year, a number of presents slipped from his sleigh. He had to make a very sharp turn over Olympia Forest so as not to miss his favorite stop somewhere in Redmond. Must be a reference to Microsoft, which is in Redmond, Washington. Still don't know what to do, but... We're not going to play it. <laughs> I don't have the patience. Uh, Christmas Tile... This is yet another um, game from the early to mid 90s that requ that requires you to match tiles. Computer games seem to really love this concept at this time. What's crazy about this is a lot of times you'll find several of the same icon or tile, I should say. I'm trying to find that stupid wreath. Okay, got one there, and it does time you. It doesn't count down, but it keeps track of how quick it does it is to take. You see, there's a there's three of these. There's probably a, a fourth one too, I imagine. Oh, go. That's okay. So there's four of those reindeer tiles. And apparently there's going to be six of them. <laughs> okay, there's the reef. Yeah, that's enough of that. And um, something called Christmas card. Um, you can create a Christmas card to send someone via a floppy disk. But we... Um, uh, oh, why not? Let's give it a try. Got some old floppy disk here. I guess, it, I guess it's going to format them. Alright, Christmas card lets you make an electronic Christmas card from your winter scene screensaver, which was not working to begin with. You need to insert a formatted floppy disk in either your A or B drive. Next, click the continue button to configure your greeting card. Alright. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. A little work. Mer now let's think of something more um, uh, unique. And yes, I know I have the squeakiest chair in the world. Um, Merry Christmas and
little inside joke there between me and um, El Mall 3. <laughs> But I gotta send him a package. I might include this disc in it. <laughs> Which kind of defeats the surprise, but oh well. And he won't need um, Christmas for Windows 93 to view this either. We could try to take it over to my uh, Legend 822 CDT, but I don't have it on right now. Is copying the files to the disk. The Christmas card is done. Give the floppy disk to a friend and tell them to install it on their computer by running setup. Uh, do you want to make another Christmas card on drive A? New. No. Let's go. I'll send that Elmo 3's way. If I don't break it. <laughs> and you get an about screen. Copyright 1993, obviously. Nah, it's actually, um, that thing was, uh, referencing the Sugenix, um, Incorporated in Redmond, Washington, although that's the same place where, um, Microsoft is, but they obviously ne didn't have anything to do with this program. So, um, that's all there is that's included with this. It's a really fun little program. Um, of course, I didn't have this on my computer growing up because I didn't have a computer in 1993. <laughs> Not for another two years, but um, it, it still kind of takes me, me back to a simpler time in computers when they were when one of the things with computers was you have fun with them. <laughs> and when software companies made Christmas oriented software. I used to always like that, you know, stuff like this, uh, Sky Road's Christmas Special, um, Jazz Jack Rabbit Holiday Hair, that kind of stuff. So yeah, it kind of takes you back to a simpler time and I just thought I would share this program with you guys. So for now, Billy Core signing off.